What's up, y'all? I hope you guys got to tune into GTC 2022 recently to see what is new with NVIDIA Omniverse. With that being said, in this video, I'll be talking about the NVIDIA Omniverse short film contest that NVIDIA is hosting right now. Now, the contest is for you to create your own Omniverse machinima movie, whether a skit, music video, or whatever you have in mind. Now, you can use your own assets, but you must include one of the assets inside NVIDIA Omniverse in your movie. Please, please, please read the contest rules very carefully. I'll put the link of the contest page in the description below and the comment section as well. Now, the prices for this contest are insane. We're talking the number one winner gets a laptop with an RTX 3080 Ti in it. RTX 3080 Ti in a laptop. Look, I absolutely believe JS Film subscribers have an advantage here since I have been making you all a lot of tutorials in NVIDIA Omniverse. I even created a brand new playlist for y'all to get started recently. Now, I am very fortunate to be a judge for the short film as well, so make sure you're tagging me on social media so I can see your progress throughout the contest. Now, let's jump into Machinima so I can show you the new retargeting tool and some free assets you can use for your short film entry. So one of the most exciting things they added in NVIDIA Omniverse in the 2022 version for both Create and Machinima is the retargeting animation tool. Now, before last year, for me to import animations into Machinima, I had to round trip to iClone. But with this release, I can go ahead and retarget in Create or Machinima using this tool. So what I'm gonna do right now is grab some free animations from Relusion Actor Core that we're gonna be using for this tutorial. So if you go to Relusion Actor Core and I'm gonna go to Motion right here, I'm gonna click the free one. And let's just go download this walk one right here. Just download it. Mail is okay. I'm gonna select Omniverse for the target and then download. Now I like to go here because as you can see, I downloaded a bunch of free ones already. These are pretty high quality motion capture if you just wanna play around. Okay, so I now have this folder here that we downloaded from Actor Core. I will just extract it. And this is gonna give us two folders. It's gonna give us an actor and it's gonna give us emotion. So that's good. All right, so now we're inside NVIDIA Machinima. And first and foremost, what you're gonna see right off the bat is they now have all these asset stores and asset beta, which is pretty simple and nice because you can just access everything here. If I click on this down arrow, you're gonna see some Bannerlord characters and assets, Mine Way, Smack Warrior, and Squad. So these are the assets that you can use whenever you're working on your NVIDIA short film competition, right? So let's go back to NVIDIA Soul and depending on the version you have, you might have a lot more than this because I do have the beta. So go ahead and look around and see if you see something you like here. All right, so what we'll do is actually grab that Relusion Actor Core asset first. We're gonna start with the actor. We're gonna grab this dummy and just drag him to the world. And then after that, I'll just rotate him by pressing E. Or, if you want a little bit more precise, you can go to the motion dummy mail right here. Let's just go to zero right here. So it should be facing this way. Now it should be Z forward, Y up. And the next thing we're going to do is actually turn on our extensions. And it's going to be called Retargeter. Now what you're going to need to turn on are all three of these right here. And as you can see, it's already on by default. But if it's not on, go ahead and turn them all on. Let's go ahead and press exit. And now we're going to go to animation, retargeting, and now you're gonna see this animation retargeting window open. Now let's grab our asset right here. For this tutorial, we will grab Soul and add him to the actual world. So all I did was change this so that it's facing the right direction. Again, Z forward, Y up. And if we go to animation retargeting right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and move this down, we can now select the actor core skeleton first, which is the dummy male. And you can see that it is forward, up. And I'm going to change the forward to Z. And then the up to Y. All right? So forward, Y up. Change that right here, Z up. Make sure it's like this, and that's good as well. And one of the cool things about this is since Relusion and Omniverse are really working together hand in hand, all of these are already pre populated. Because if you see right here, there's used mapping files. There's already an auto mapping file in the directory, so we don't even have to add anything. And then over here, as you can see that the blue dotted lines, now what you're gonna see here are the blue circles are the ones that's already in here. Um, a minimum, there has to be at least five of these that are kind of named in here as far as tag goes. So you're gonna see the head, it's already marked as head, left hand to left hand, right hand to right hand. Think about this as kind of like your human IK retargeter in Maya which is pretty sick because I didn't have to do anything there. 
Now, the next thing we're going to do is go to the soul skeleton. And again, this is already pre-populated, which again is pretty sick. Now, if you want to add more tags or add more bones, you can always just add it right here, body, and choose whatever you want and you can populate it. But like I said, five will work just fine. So for now, we will leave everything as is. We're not gonna put any finger data or anything like that. So I'm going to change this to Z and change this to Y so that we're the same exact thing as our actor core right here. So now that we're done here, all we have to do now is import that animation that we got from actor core. So I'm gonna go back to my content. I'm gonna go back to my root folder, actor core, motion, walk, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go with a loop. And I'm gonna drag that to the world prim. And we'll go down like so. And then what I'll do is right click that, add animation skeletal binding. And then in the property, I'm gonna select the skeleton of the original actor core skeleton, press add. And now if I drag and drop this to my actor core character, He's now going to animate, and if I drag that same exact animation to Soul, he is now going to animate. And if I press play, you're going to see that they're both now walking. Well, it's not really looping, but what we can do is drag both of them. I'll just drag one here. If I duplicate this clip, you can actually do the loop, right? And that's it. That is how easy it is to retarget animation now with the new NVIDIA Omniverse, Machinima, and Create. So with that being said, go ahead and check out the asset stores right here. They do have a lot of free stuff in here, ridiculously stuff, and they also have some paid ones as well. There's some animals, animation. Now this is all actually connected to uh, Sketchfab, as you can see right here. And as far as animation goes, this is Turbo Squid, Actor Core already all built in here. So technically you didn't have to go to the website, but I wanted to go ahead and show you because there's some free ones in there as well. There's a lot of free, free everything in here because again, a lot of companies are really working with NVIDIA Omniverse to give you all, everything you need to create. And it is truly, absolutely amazing what NVIDIA is doing, giving all this to us. Look at this Spinosaurus right here. This is a high quality Spinosaurus, right? That is all I have for you all today. Again, I honestly, I honestly beg you to go ahead and try to make something, anything, a movie, a skit, a music video to go compete for this competition. Because if not, you're really missing out on a bunch of good prices. A laptop with a 3080 Ti or Ti, that's crazy. All right, so please create something cool and good luck.